When speaking of bad roads, especially in the southeast, details would not be complete without mentioning the Nsukatu Makodi Road in Enugu State, which has lingered on for so many years. Traveling from Enugu to Makodi through Nsuka is like making a journey through hell. Whether one is making the journey in dry or in rainy season, the story still remains the same. Now, during the rainy season, the road is usually submerged with water or flood, while in dry season, it is a pool of dust. As we approach the rainy season, residents and travelers continue to worry. Although it is a federal road, motorists planning it have described their experience on the road as a nightmare due to its terrible state. Today, let us talk about the effects of the road on inner citizens and the way forward. Hello and welcome to Insights on Crips TV. I am Udine John. Right about now, we would go on a brief commercial break, so please stay tuned. For over half a decade now, the Insuka to Makwadi Road, which is the major access road from the northern part of the country to the southeast region, has become a dead trap for motorists shores of the road. The horrible situation has trapped and cut off access to some communities in Ibrahim City and Udino Kukasman's areas of Inugu State. It is even more disturbing because armed robbers now have taken advantage of the deplorable state and caused ambushing, dispossessing, and sometimes killing people. This, among other factors, has also affected the economy because apparently the road is the only federal road connecting the east to the north. Transportation of food items like tomatoes, onions, and different farm produce is done from the north to the south and sometimes back to the east, whereas it would have been made straight ahead to cut down on cost. Tankers that are carrying petroleum products and articulated vehicles are having a very hard time navigating the road as well. In any case, recently, the council chairman of Ibo Itati, the government area, Honorable Ikina Wodu, had to conduct a survey in his efforts to access how bad the road has become and to fashion out ways to ease the daily suffering of the people of the council and other road users. According to the local government boss in his words, as always, my administration is committed to ensuring the welfare of the people of Ibo City as well as being sensitive to the daily challenges faced by the average citizens within the council area. Sometime last week, I embarked on the physical assessment of the new knife my Utopia, Makodi Federal Express Road, riding on a motorcycle to ascertain what palliative measures can be applied to ease the daily suffering of road users. At the same time, recently, Senator Chukwuka Utazim, representing in the Senatorial District in the National Assembly, while interacting with those in Usuka, said that the federal government has awarded the contract for the dualization of the Irubu Makwadi Road. Findings are being made now for the palliative measures aimed at repairing the road for safe passage. So I'm guessing we can be hopeful as this sounds a lot like change. Expectedly, the road users and residents of the areas have been expressing worry that such an important interstate road that connects the southeast to the north is not getting the proper attention that it deserves both from the federal and the state government. Nevertheless, a commercial bus driver, Mr. Anthony Lushi, in his reaction said that plying the road these days is like making a journey to hell, adding that the situation has doubled the suffering of road users. In his words, the bad state of the road has cost us a lot in the past six years. Before now, the ninth mile to Makwadi, which is moved for three hours, or which is really a three-hour journey, is now a day journey. Depending on the vehicle they are using, Many buses like my own may be able to maneuver the field portions, but what would you say about bigger vehicles? Any day that it rains, the road becomes impassable until the rain dries off. Mrs. Grace Ungo, a trader at the Ungo Better Market in Ungo City, the government area, said that the state of the Ungo and Makwadi Road is a typical example of government insensitivity to the plight and the well being of our citizens. She blamed both the federal and the state government for not doing enough to salvage the situation. However, reacting to the deplorable condition of the road, the Enugu state government said that it will work on the 9th mile OP junction along the Enugu Makordi Expressway and the 9th mile OP Odi Road to ease the pains of the people in the area. 
This is contained in a press statement that was issued by the Commissioner for Works and Infrastructure, Engineer Greg Laji in Enugu State. Now, as the bill has been set ruling for the new year and citizens continue with their hustle for a new bill, road users as well as agencies and the government's bodies charged with the mandate of securing the roads should please pay more attention to the factor that are causing bad roads, which leads to accidents, and then they should design strategies to mitigate these factors, prioritizing safety over all other things. I hope that you've been able to learn a lot today. Please don't forget to like, share, and comment. Until I come your way next time, this race on sites on Crips TV.